When we talk about robotics, the first country that comes to mind is Japan. They have been making a lot of progress in making robots a part of our daily lives. Aside from Japan, did you know that the United States is also one of the top contributors in the robotics industry? The USA uses more industrial robots than any other country in the Americas. It has a new operational stock record of about 293,200 units, which is a 7% increase from last year. Mexico is in second place with 40,300 units, which is an increase of 11%. Canada is in third place with about 28,600 units, which is an increase of 2%. Today in this video, we will talk about the exhibit they hosted. The International Conference on Robotics and Automation, or ICRA, held an exhibit on May 23, 2022. It went on at the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Philadelphia and online at the same time. ICRA 2022 brings together the best researchers and biggest companies in the world to share ideas and new developments in robotics and automation. This is the first time that the ICRA community has come together since the pandemic. Over 7,000 people have registered and 95 countries are represented. The conference also had plenaries and keynotes by world-famous roboticists on topics like robot ethics, legged robots for industrial and search and rescue applications, robot farming, autonomous logistics, or smart sensing, as well as 1,500 technical talks on the state of the art in robotics. Thirteen awards were given out at ICRA 2022 on Thursday. 39 researchers have been nominated for the 13 awards because of their outstanding research contributions in categories like automation, coordination, interaction, learning, locomotion, manipulation, navigation, or planning, among others. Robots, AI, control theory, computer vision, and control engineering are the main topics of the conference. It is mostly about research on robots, which is related to simulation. It talks about how studies on AI are related to the field of machine learning. The control theory studies that were talked about can also help with research in the fields of kinematics and motion control. The main topics of conversation at the event are computer vision and simultaneous localization and mapping, which are similar but not the same. Control engineering studies include parts of control system, control, management, and torque. It puts a lot of focus on research about mobile robots, which includes things like mobile robot navigation. Robot control research shows that social robots are one of the most important things to study. Motion planning research was the main focus of the International Conference on Robotics and Automation, but the conference grew to include mathematical optimization. A robot exhibition hall has also been set up, with nearly 100 confirmed exhibitors like Dyson, Motional, Build Robotics, NVIDIA, Technology Innovation Institute, Boston Dynamics, PAL Robotics, Kucker Robotics, Toyota Research Institute, Tesla, and Waymo showing off their robots and giving demos.
ICRA 2022 also has a lot of competitions. From Monday, May 23rd to Friday, May 27th, there were 10 exciting competitions on the following topics, autonomous ground and aerial robots navigation, localization and mapping, robot manipulation, autonomous racing, roboethics, and Lego League for 12th graders. ICRA 2022 is also happy to work with the RAD Lab and a number of art galleries in Philadelphia to give its program a central space for art. Building on past ICRA robotic art programs, this year's program uses interactive, expressive, and meditative robotic art installations to look at how art and creativity affect how robots move. The exhibition and the workshop that goes with it will give people new ways to think about the future of technology. There were many industry tech huddles led by experts in the field, technical tours to the Singh Center for Nanotechnology, Penn Medicine, and the General Robotics, Automation, Sensing, and Perception, GRASP, Laboratory, and several networking events. Not everyone can actually go to ICRA. So, the ICRA Organizing Committee, the IEEE Robotics and Automation Society, and OmniLabs have joined forces to offer access to the telepresence robots at OmniLabs. Three Omnibots was in the main exhibition hall with all the other robots. This exhibits is one of the biggest event in robotics and it was successful. It just shows how humans made a lot of progress in making robots usable and more accessible to the public. This gives hope to the future when we robots are a big part of our lives. We hope you find the video interesting and informational. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. We would appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching and see you at the next one.